This is our mother duck leading the uh, ducklings for the first time. They were born three days ago. And I think I chased them out of the nest because uh, one of the babies was caught under the, three of the babies are caught under the chicken wire. And I had to cut them out and I scared all the rest of them away. I put food and water down by the nest because it's, it was in the toolies down there at a low spot and they, uh, the mother just couldn't get out. Yeah, the babies couldn't get out easily. And uh, anyway, this is the first time they've taken them out. And also they had the, uh, the drake, the male duck was uh, not being very friendly to the baby. So I, I got rid of them. I put them out in the garden. So the mother now has the whole lake to herself. And uh, I'm chasing them a little bit here, but I think it's good that they go in the water. I, I read that the babies normally go into the, they swim after a day of birth. And it's such a hot day today. Let's see what happens. This will be their first swim. This will be their first swim. So we'll see what happens. There's a big pond here. And there's water coming in. You see I put a, there's an aqueduct there that brings fresh water in. It comes from a spring. Well, I don't know if she's going to go in or not. It's been a hot day today, and I meant to change the water this morning, and uh, they may not have gotten enough drinking water, which is a big problem for ducks. So this water probably tastes really good. And it's such a hot day. It's 93 today. So I actually wanted to go in the water to cool down. Oh, the one on the right is uh, getting into it. Oh, there's one swimming. There's one swimming past the mother. So this is actually an aviary. It's got a roof. We did this a couple years ago, and last year, and a blue heron came in and ate all the babies. So I put this, there's a fence going around the corner, around the, around the edges, and I shut the gate over there to keep the other ducks out. So we got exclusive use of this of this facility right now. That's the drain incidentally that they're on. So the water comes in where I showed you and then it goes out through that drain. So then it goes out to somewhere else. It goes down to the creek actually. Oh, this is wonderful. Let's get a close up on some of the babies. Because it's easy to look at a whole group and then not look at the individuals, but each individual is trying to solve some, uh, trying to solve some problems. The mother, the problem she's trying to solve is to keep her group together. And probably, if they're anything like chickens, to teach them how to eat. The mother we got from uh, was hatched, so she never 